From the WBC Studios, this is Wake Up Waldwick. Good morning and welcome to Wake Up Waldwick. I'm John. And I'm Erin. Here are your top stories for the week. Last week, we had a poll to figure out what the best gift for prom would be and it was food and candy. And uh, because of this poll, I took your school advice and I gave Erin some candy, uh, I, I put it on your front door. What yeah. do you think of it? Um, yeah, I have it with me actually. You can have that back. Uh, maybe next year we but can go together. Th there's no... No, it's fine. All there's right. No, it's good. Um, so congratulations to the girls basketball team which finished the season with 14 wins and 11 losses. It's their first winning record since 1999. Two is better than one in this case. The Deanna Bell sisters made their mark on the team which makes them the Warriors to watch this week. On this week of Warriors to watch, we interview the dynamic duo of the girls basketball team, Grace and Rose DeAnnabelle. The chemistry would be a lot different because we've always played together, so it would be weird. Um, well, we would be scoring a lot less points because she has like all the threes and most of the points, so yeah. So we don't really have any rituals, but we have like a super cool secret handshake that we do. So you go like this, and then, yeah. That's about it. Okay, I would, so I, I would win. She would say me, I'd, but she thinks. I'm, so. I have to be honest in this interview, and I would definitely be her. If he does, he's about to break your ankles. Kobe! Ah! Matt, you're playing like a blind sloth with polio out there. Yeah? That's not what your mom said! Here, Matt. Eat a Snickers. Better? Better. Do not you when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. You okay, Brandon? Yeah. Better luck next time. <laughs> this is Mike Amoroso reporting for WBC Studios. Many students and faculty at Walter High School have been asking these questions all school year long. Why is Wi-Fi important to students? Why has Walter not released the Wi-Fi to students yet? We run around the school asking people these questions. I'm going to tell you how Wi-Fi works. We have a potato in the basement and we wrap copper and aluminum wire around it and then we lick the potato like so every morning and uh, that triggers the um, electrical conductivity of the potato and that's what allows all of the radio signals to get to your phones. Wi-Fi is basically like a wireless signal coming from a router or some other what they call access point and basically your phone or your laptop or anything with a, a wireless network card inside it can connect to that and then through that go right to the internet. Uh, Wi-Fi is basically just um, an over-the-air way to connect all of our devices to the network. I think that Wi-Fi is important to the school because like it would help us connect to the internet and stay connected at school. So Wi-Fi is important because it allows us to use laptops and soon Chromebooks, you know, one-on-one -on -one so that, you know, you don't have to rely on some old desktop or something like that to get on the internet and do work. You have your own independent station that you can do whatever you want on and Wi-Fi allows you to go on the internet and research and do things like that. For the students to be able to access our network when we go one-on-one -on -one with the computers, that's going to be really exciting. Uh, right now, it can be difficult to grab a lab or to get time, and so if we can all have Wi-Fi uh, in our own classrooms where we can use laptops or mobile devices, I'm all for it. But also it makes learning at your fingertips, so if somebody can look at something on their phone, it just makes learning very easy and accessible. Well, in the case of Waldwick, we have limited space for labs and things like that. So if we have the ability to distribute the network uh, over the air, we can have things like laptop carts and set those up in regular classrooms and not have to take up an entire room for a lab. We're working. We're getting there. We're very close. We just had an event on Monday the 19th where we opened up the Wi-Fi to all our teachers, and it was a good test for us to see how it could handle it. Um, we are worried about the park, which is coming up, 
and we want to make sure that we have everything in place for that. Uh, and I'm, I'm working hard, I can tell you that student body, to try to get the Wi-Fi open for you uh, and have it accessible for when you need it. I know your data plans are getting hurt. I've heard it from your parents and I've heard it from you. And all I can say is I'm trying, I'm working hard, our superintendent is behind you guys 100% in getting access to the Wi-Fi in the school district. And we're getting there. Give me a little time and you will have it. I'm going to address the issue first of the Wi-Fi password. I've made an agreement with Joel and the rest of our technology staff. Every single time someone asks for the Wi-Fi password, we're going to delay its release two weeks. So far, I've had three people ask me for the Wi-Fi password within the last hour. That's six weeks. Okay. That's now four times. I just got asked again. That's now eight weeks. Do the math. That's two months. Wi-Fi is here not to rescue your data plans. It is here for what is called one-to-one -one education, where every student at WHS gets a laptop to access internet, digital materials, and digital textbooks. One-to-one -one will change your educational experience. Whoa, so funky, potato supplies Wi-Fi. I gotta try that at home. All kidding aside, there's a serious prom-related play coming up. It's called Zombie Prom. It's happening this weekend. It's about unrequited love, like the unrequited love I have for someone in this room. That's uh, being rejected. Okay, anyway, um, okay. also this weekend, the Forever Rachel Basketball Fundraiser is Saturday at 1 p.m. And remember, Wait, go for water like